Janae, uh, congratulations. How does it feel, firstly, to be uh, named Rising Star? Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it's pretty surreal, really, to get that sort of not of recognition by the competition, but yeah, more so looking at trying to get those wins on the board instead of those sort of own accolades, really. Didn't take too long to uh, get you an extension either. Yeah, super pumped to be signing on until 2026. So it's really good to have that sort of security um, from the club, especially being a first year player. So yeah, really looking forward to what we can do over the next few years as well. Does that make you, I guess, settled and comfortable that you're here for the long haul, you don't have to worry about, you know, injuries or not playing well? Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, as I said before, just having that sort of security and belief by the club to allow me to have those sort of three years locked in and then um, we'll see what the future holds, but hopefully stay here for a lot longer. I absolutely love this group and I know there's a lot of potential that we can achieve and obviously we're chasing that success and we exist to win those premierships, so hopefully in the near future that is what we can achieve. Yeah, how did the feel the groups coming together? It just seen the other night, um, it all really clicked and everyone looked, it was such a close game, exciting game. Um, seemed to be, like the team seems to be playing a lot better than last year even. I know you yeah, were this, part of that team. Yeah, obviously last year I was just a spectator, so I was watching from the sidelines, but this year, I don't know, we've just got such a good vibe around the group, we're so united and we know what we have to achieve. We've done so much work over the pre-season and over the long off season so yeah we've got that fitness base we've been re working really hard and we know that we can take it up to the best teams and it's just a matter of fine-tuning some details but yeah we've got such a good team and looking forward to what we can achieve just tell, us, sorry, okay, yeah. no, just tell us a bit about your did you come through the academy here you've been in the yeah so obviously um i was in the port next generation academy so i was able to be pre-signed to the club so I think when I was maybe around 14 or 15, I did two years here. So there's obviously a lot of the girls in the team right now that I went through that academy with, which was super cool. And obviously through state as well, I got to play with a lot of the girls here as well. So it just helps with that connection and sort of, yeah, having those friendships and that already built, which has been really helpful. How's it been for you coming into this season? Obviously there was a lot of hype, almost expectation that you would eventually be named Rising Star now, round one, and you're already nominated. How's it been sort of coping with that expectation? Yeah, I try my hardest not to look into that sort of stuff. Obviously, that's just external noises, and all I'm trying to do is play my role for the team, and sort of if I'm getting the job done with what the team needs right now, that's all I'm sort of focusing on right now. It didn't look like you had any trouble whatsoever adapting to the level. How did it feel to come out here in your first game and, and especially kick your first goal? Uh, I wasn't that happy with my performance really. I feel like my strengths um, to the team is sort of my run and carry and my footy smarts and I don't think I showcased a heap of that. So it's just sort of working is, um, along that and trying to improve every week. But yeah, it was obviously really cool to kick my first goal in my first game as well as wearing the prison bars as well in a sold out crowd, which was so surreal. How excited should we be then if uh, you get a rising star non in a game where you yourself feel like you didn't play that well? <laughs> yeah, hopefully there's a lot more to improve on. So I don't know. I'm, all I'm trying to do is play my role for the team. So if that's if my teammates think that I played my role on the weekend, then I'm pretty happy with that really. Now, on the weekend, did the fixtures change? You're playing at the G. Like, what a nice surprise that, that must have been. Yeah, it's going to be so crazy. Obviously, um, Bulldogs have their final there as well for the men. So getting to move to the MCG is so surreal. And obviously, I haven't played there. A few of the girls have through other clubs and even Popey with cricket. So, yeah, there's a bit of mixed emotions in that around it. But, yeah, we're obviously super grateful that we can play on such a great oval and yeah, super pumped to be versing the dogs there. When you sort of saw that news come through, how exciting was it for the group when you looked at each other and go, all right, we're all gonna get the opportunity to play on the G and in front of what will hopefully be a pretty massive crowd already. Yeah, everyone was just so super pumped by it. Um, as you obviously said, it's such a great ground. There's a lot of history for the MCG as well and to have a female game there is super good for the competition as well and hopefully we can get a great crowd there. Going into last week, I think Lauren Gass in the showdowns last year was, was 30 points, there for 60, now it's 14. So that margin is getting slimmer and slimmer. Obviously this is your, your first one, but do you feel that this group has evolved even through the preseason 
while you've been here and that this team is slowly getting to the level it needs to be to challenge for those top eight positions? Yeah, so obviously we're not wanting to be considered as an expansion side anymore, so we can't be really looking at trying to put our best foot forward um, each week. So, yeah, I feel like with the team that we've got now, we can take it up against any team. It was just really unfortunate on the weekend. We obviously saw a lot of positive signs, and it's just about fine-tuning some minor details to sort of get those wins on the board. So hopefully that will come in the near future as well. Do you think especially the Crows have obviously been up near the top of the ladder and finished top before uh, going out in the finals last year. Do you think that shows how much this group has improved to, to take it so close to a team like that? Yeah, definitely. Obviously the Crows with their history that they've got in the competition, they've won um, numerous premierships and obviously have been contenders each year. So yeah, when you look at it in that sense, we did really well, but yeah, just about we're trying to get those wins on the board and with the team that we've got, I think that we can really do that this year.